take the minimum time possible to explain this. Not everyone who has money has brains or is smart. Not everyone who doesn't have money is stupid. Some of them, their time might not have come. That is one thing I want you guys to agree with me. I've been dragged so much. I've even received a DM that I'm gonna post here that has pushed me to do this video. Uh, towards the death of uh, Dan O'Bright, the girl is trending online. I want to clarify a few points here, guys, so that I can be clear and I don't want my name or rather my brand to be dragged to such an incident because it's not cute at all and it's online all over. So let me just talk about it because I feel like I'm triggered. You know, once I'm triggered, I'll talk about whatever is disturbing me. Number one, I went to Mombasa like almost a day later after the deceased that died. I wasn't there, I wasn't present. I don't know what happened. I cannot explain because I wasn't there. I don't have any evidence. So kindly, those guys saying that I was in Mombasa during the death, kindly, I wasn't there. Point number two, I am not, I am not friends to any of the guys who was present during the death of the deceased. If at all, we could be uh, asked what we are, we could say maybe enemies. You understand? Because I've been, I've always had uh, this crash crash of uh, niggas who wanna compete with me all the time. I wonder why. And yet, they cannot even notify you that they are in a competition. Just bitter niggas who are young in terms of uh, reasoning. So, they always feel like uh, life should always be about competition. But specifically, I, will, I am not closely related to any of the guys who was present during the death of the deceased. Kindly guys, keep my name out of this. I'm receiving hard DMs. I'll post maybe one or two for you guys to see. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. I, I, the guy you're trying to drag me that we were involved in the incident together. I've not talked to him like three months, almost two months, not three, like two months. We've not been close, we don't follow each other for two months now. So don't think that it just happened recently for two months. I don't even know how people go together, how they win Mombasa, what they went to do there. I cannot be able to explain. Kindly, kindly. Maybe you go and ask them, they come out clear to tell you what happened, of which I think they have explained elsewhere. I just went to see the guy because he was clean hearted. That's all I knew about him. Whenever I could see him out there, he came uh, to uh, at some point he came to support me whenever I was, I was hosting at Abanos. So because I knew him as a clean hearted guy who could just smile at you and say hi. And yes, he, he had passed on. That is why I went to mourn him. So stop dragging my name to mud. Ask the people who were there at that particular time what really happened. Kindly, guys. Kindly and I repeat, kindly.